Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the playlist on computer vision. In the last lectures we discussed about the bitwise operations and uh, masking concept in OpenCV. Today we'll be having a look at one of the practical real life scenario where we'll be using all of the concepts that have been taught in the previous lectures that that is starting from the very beginning of numpy to the very last concept taught in open cv so i hope you all have revised that uh, what have been taught if not please go back and revise all of these topics because from now onwards things will get getting uh, i mean thing will start getting complicated if you don't revise them in a proper order uh, things are now moving on to a quite advanced stages now like these are some of the advanced concepts in open cv and i don't want you to miss out on the very interesting paths so without wasting much of your time uh, let's get started on this so what I will do is I will quickly go and fire up my Jupyter notebook so uh, I have my Jupyter notebook set up over here I will run these lines of code these are for reading an image and showing an image to you so something like this and yeah so this is what my image is now the agenda for this lecture is uh, you remember in one of our lectures we actually extracted like the rgb colors from an image using the cv2 dot spread functions right now let's say i want to extract a uh, brown color right or maybe like there is a real life scenario where i need to find out uh, where are the stems of the trees located so i know that okay stems of the trees are actually in brown color so i want to find all of the parts where there is brown color like where the presence of brown color is there so how do i do this using open cv uh, we cannot use a split function because brown is a combination of bgr like it can be generated by a by a random combination of bgr uh, but i don't know what combination it is moreover like uh, like let's say when you are extracting green maybe uh, brown is uh, uh, maybe brown is like generated using green uh, so along with green you will actually get brown over here but it won't the brown uh, won't be alone in this like there would be a hint of any other color as well but i only want the brown color to appear over here like i only want all of these portions to appear which have brown color so how do i do this using open cv uh, yes the answer is actually by using the concepts such as bitwise operation i mean uh, bit operations uh, masking and numpy and changing the changing the color spaces uh, yes this sounds a little bit complicated but hopefully it's not uh, because like if you have revised the, uh, the things and if you have understood the concepts it's actually pretty easy so without wasting much of your time let's get started on this so what i will do is i will first change this into a hsv color space so i hope you remember how to change an image like how to change the color space of an image uh, if you are thinking of using the convert color function then you are absolutely correct uh, I will pass in the image and I will use cv2 dot color and the general color space is actually bgr the by default color space so I will have to do bgr to hs bgr to hsv something like this right so once this is done uh, I have my like image in hsp color space and now i need to create a mask so what will happen like i want all of these regions with the brown shades to get highlighted so for this i will actually use two variables one which is known as low brown so this will be the uh, coordinates or maybe the color space of brown in uh, hsp color space i mean these are not the values that are generated by me these are the original values i have actually searched them from uh, google so I hope you can do that as well. So, low brown is 1020. 1020. I mean, you can search them on Google about the brown color space and you will get these values. These are, uh, I mean, these are nothing from my end. And then high brown is equals to np.array. Uh, 2255 and 200. So, what I will do is I will create a mask having the colors in this range that is from low brown to high brown so as once a mask is created and you and you know once we do a bitwise and operation on a mask along with the image what we get is the mask portion so if a mask is created having all brown colors the final image we will get is uh, the image having brown colors only right so i will go ahead and run this piece of code uh, now what i will do is i will create a mask and i will give it the name x and this will be cv2 dot 
in range function in range because i have to use this in a range so the in range actually takes an argument such as uh, the source uh, then the lower leg boundary and then the upper boundary uh, so the source is actually uh, on img and uh, the lower boundary is low brown and the higher boundary is high brown right so this is how like uh, my mask actually looks like so i will go ahead and uh, generate x for you so this is how x actually is uh, so x is a mask uh, which is in range of img like sorry which is in the range of low brown to high brown so these these are the color spaces of brown in hsp color format and now once i have the mask i want to do a bitwise operation on the image and the mask on the image using the mask actually so cv2 dot bitwise and and uh, i'll be doing it on img comma img and mask is actually x so this is what my z would actually look like i will go ahead and run this and now i want to see like whether uh, i am getting brown color or not uh, i mean only the shades of brown colors or not so i will go ahead and replace this via z and hopefully now what i will get is a shade of brown colors so let's go and run it over here so as you can see like the these were actually the stem of the trees right these were the stem of the trees so these colors have now been actually extracted out these colors like i know okay, okay these are the parts where brown color was actually appearing and therefore brown colors have been actually separated out from the image itself so this is how you actually like extract colors other than the primary colors of bgr in um, open cv i hope you remember like these were the stem of the trees because they were brown in color so anywhere wherever there is hint of brown the colors have been actually extracted out from here uh, this is what your final image would look like in case you're wondering how your mask is actually looking like you can actually see the mask as well so let's say you want to see the mask over here so the mask is something like this So the mask is something like this, like uh, it tells you, okay, like these are the white parts. I told you, Naki, the white parts uh, will be the one where we will actually extract out certain parts of the images. And this is how like the parts actually look like, the mask actually look like. So I hope the concept is now pretty clear. And um, I hope you enjoy this lecture and you learn something important and interesting from it. Uh, see you in the next one. Till then, thank you.